I've learned so much by watching other people do this trend. So here is my list of best investments, purchases, and things of 2023. But in no particular order, here we go. Number one, a robot vacuum. Life-changing, probably one of the best investments I've ever made. Saves me so much time, especially as someone who despises mopping, and it kind of makes it enjoyable. Next is a blank planner. As someone who has probably tried every physical planner slash diary on the planet, this year I found the blank planner to be perfect. Pages that I can design based on whatever I'm going through at the time, whatever that period of my life looks like. If it's a busy and hectic period, I can make those blank pages into daily and weekly planners. If it's a quiet or reflective period, I can use blank pages to journal and draw things out. I just love the freedom it has given me. Next is select physical books. As someone who mostly listens to audiobooks, I thought some physical books would be good for books that are considered classics and ones that I would want to read over and over and reference. It's also been a good way for me to put my phone away and actually just focus on reading and nothing else. Next is a standing desk. Speaks for itself so much better than a fixed desk. When I'm feeling a bit low energy with the work that I'm doing, I put myself into a standing position and it kind of gives me energy. When I'm going into a meeting I might be a little bit nervous about, I stand up and it makes me feel more powerful. I like having those options. Next is houseplants. As someone who has never been into plants, I almost turned into a crazy plant lady this year. Apart from transforming the physical space, what I really loved is actually just taking care of my plants. When my plants are thriving and growing, I know it's because of me. Next is a trench coat, and actually one that looks just like this emoji, a tan trench coat. The reason I love the trench coat is because it makes you feel put together no matter what you're wearing. You can wear it over jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers, jeans and a t-shirt and boots. You can wear it over active wear, which is actually what I wear it over most of the time. Wearing a trench coat makes me feel really confident and powerful and like I have my shit together. Next is BB cream, which has pretty much almost fully replaced foundation for me. I use the La Roche one. It's good on a daily basis, but it's also good with concealer in place of foundation. Next is dollar cost averaging. I finally set up recurring automatic purchases for ETFs and Bitcoin. Say what you want about Bitcoin. It is a personal decision. I'm not telling you to go and buy it. But for me, I would rather be in it than not. And I'm just putting in what I am comfortable to lose. But the biggest thing with the dollar cost averaging has been that I can set it and forget it. I can go and spend whatever other money I need to spend, but I know that that investment is taken care of no matter what. Next is an AirPoints credit card. Again, a very personal choice, but if I'm going to be spending money anyway, I want to get a benefit for it. By getting some sign-up bonuses that banks offer when you get a new AirPoints credit card as well, this year I've managed to score most flights for free. I cannot imagine spending another dollar without getting AirPoints for it. Next is a career coach. My career coach is more like a therapist for work and one that I did not know I needed. I can probably make a whole separate video about why I got a career coach, but it has been one of the best things ever. Next, supplements for my dog. This year, my dog started taking hemp oil, fiber, omega-6 and omega-3, and he has never looked and felt better. Next, transitioning my life, entire life, to Notion. I've used Notion for many, many years, but this year, Notion has truly become my digital life and I cannot function without it. Next, Google calendaring everything, and I mean everything, from appointments to catch-ups and hangouts with friends to reminders, obviously, to meetings. If it's not in Google Calendar, it's not happening. I'm not doing it. The Diary of a CEO podcast, the most life-changing podcast I've ever listened to. I have learned so much from this podcast, specifically in relation to my health, fitness, how my body works, how my brain works, and things I have actually incorporated into my life. Two of those things actually are the last two things on my list. Going back to strength training and really cutting the hit workouts and doing 24-hour fasts. The fasting I only started doing in December, I've only done it twice, but I felt amazing when I did it. And then strength training, it's been quite a few months now where I do only strength training at the gym. And even just a few months, I feel so much stronger and I've noticed how much more fat it actually burns versus just doing HIIT workouts and thrashing myself. That's my list. Thanks for watching if you got this far.